And after the unexpected resignation of 911 director Tyrell Morris, the board that oversees his job has today appointed an interim director. While the investigation into Morris continues, WGNO's Kenny Lopez knows what's next. Kenny. That's right, Kurt and Susie. Today's meeting was supposed to decide what would happen to Tyrell Morris's job. But when he resigned yesterday, today's OPCD meeting became all about who would take his place in the meantime. Pages do have to turn, and I think that there is some great opportunities. The Orleans Parish Communication District Board, which handles 911 calls, is turning the page, appointing the new interim executive director, Carl Fassold. We have a fantastic team here. We'll continue to do our jobs, and no matter the distractions, we're going to do what we need to do and be there for our citizens and our visitors when they need us. Fassold's been working for OPCD since 2004. Before becoming the new interim executive director, he served as OPCD's director of technology. I've known Carl a long time. He's been here 19 years. He saw the old system and now he saw the transition to the new system. He knows the technology. He knows the whole inner, inner workers of the entire OPCD system. So yes, I think he has the skill set as well as the demeanor to move us to the next level. Fassold steps into the role after former executive director Tyrell Morris stepped down yesterday. Morris is under investigation for alleged misconduct after a car crash and possible altering of public documents. Lawyers and human resources will take a look into the possible withholding of Morris's annual leave depending on the outcome of the investigation. I make the motion that we ask uh, HR and legal to see if there's any mechanism to uh, to withhold his annual leave payment pending the investigation. Definitely Still, a new page has turned, and it's Fassold's chapter. At this time, I have no intent in applying for the permanent position, and I'll happily go back to my IT job when the board, when I've completed what the board needs me to do. Now the board says they will be working with the Association of Public Safety Communications officials to search for the permanent director. A lot more on multiple fronts for this story. All right, thank you, Kenny. In tonight's